Hi, I'm Christy McDonald, host of My Week. Simply put, My Week is a weekly news and political analysis show that brings you in-depth coverage of the biggest stories, people, and issues facing Michigan. MEA holds regular seminars on how to elect your own boss. Well, that's what's wrong with public employee collective bargaining. No, that's what's wrong with, uh, with campaign finance. Have you ever experienced anything like this in governing the state of Michigan in the last two years? Well, no, this was a very active week. Um, it was a challenging week. Each week, we go beyond the headlines, dissect the stories, and bring you insight from the biggest opinion makers in the state. The editorial page editors of the Detroit News and Detroit Free Press, Nolan Finley and Stephen Henderson. And we've seen that before with this legislature, right? Right to work, uh, some of the other things that they've done. They, they ram stuff through at the last minute and there's no legitimate discussion that goes on about uh, the issue. It's a little bit disingenuous to jump all over the secret aspect of it. This is how policy is always done. Somewhere the, the ideas start being talked about. Newsmakers know My Week is a must visit for smart conversation and tough questions that give viewers perspective. No sound bites here. What have we seen over the last few days or week that would give the governor any confidence that you all can work together on anything? Well, if you look at the past few months, I mean, the uh, review team even acknowledged that we did some pretty tough, some pretty heavy lifting. My week goes wherever the story is, from an in-depth series on the Detroit Riverfront to backroom deals up north at the Mackinac Policy Conference to moderating a town hall meeting with the governor. We also have an audience of about 30 people who are joining us right now. And once the governor delivers his message about the financial state of the city of Detroit, the audience will get to ask the governor some questions. My Week also expands the conversation with field reporting on everything from politics and education to neighborhoods and culture. He didn't want this fight and he didn't pick this fight. He didn't pick this the fight. This fight was forced on him by Bob King. And once Bob, they had extensive meetings and negotiations with King no, I know, in the spring right. and said, don't do this Prop 2 thing. Bob King walked away and did it anyway. Now, I, I understand was. that there was negotiation this week there was. With, with the unions. What was on the table there? The union's position has been consistently that they will not give any ground at all on right to work issues. Now the city council has to make a couple of decisions in the next week or so in talking about approving some contracts which are part of these benchmarks to move the city forward but they were just in a closed door meeting with corporation council even talking about the validity of the consent agreement since PA4 was repealed. Where are we? The city doesn't have enough cash reserves uh, to deal with the way that that property tax uh, revenues and, and other things that they get come in so that they end up in these these holes where you're going to literally run out of money. I think at some point the governor is going to have to kick the crutch up away and say, look, you know, come see me when you're ready to play. As we head towards the end of the show, instead of headlines tonight, we're going to do a quick fill in the blank game. You love my games, right? <laughs> and just because we focus on the important issues doesn't mean we don't like to have a little bit of fun. Of course, neither you and I, nor I can relate to the feeling of the wind blowing through our hair. I was oh, just going to say, that's, that's, that's kind of sad, people. isn't it? You're going on uh, The Apprentice, I right? Am. I heard. <laughs> no, actually, he fired me. <laughs> he fired you already. It's the one show you need to watch each week that keeps you informed. Brought to you by the most watched PBS station in Michigan, Detroit Public Television. It's my week.